Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you stay for all the fun. My name is Terry, also known as Princess, and that's where we get Prince from. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you're enjoying my content. And if you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the like button and make sure you click the notification button so you're notified every time I post a new video. So one of the first things I do in the mornings is make myself a cup of coffee. Um, I'm a kind of addicted to coffee, so I always have to make myself a cup. And I usually drink it with no creamer or sugar. I just like it black. I find that that kind of um, keeps me awake the best. Let's go. You want to go party? You want to go party? <laughs> yeah? That's a yes. Then um, I usually take my dog Milo out for his morning walk and his morning duty. <laughs> um, and when I take him depends on what time my class is. So on the days where I have a 9 a.m. class, I usually wait until after that class to take him. And on the days where I have class at 10.30, I usually take him before that so he's not holding it for too long. Um, but today, for some reason, I ended up taking him before my 9 a.m. class just because I knew that I had a lot of work to do and I didn't want to have to stop halfway through something I was doing, so I ended up taking him earlier. This class is my writing class, and my teacher is about to butcher us because we are going over our first draft for our final assignment, and he's pretty brutal. <laughs> No one, I at least, I never feel comfortable leaving his presence. So, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna feel, I feel like I'm gonna leave this class feeling like the worst writer in all of law history. Good morning, everybody, but back. <laughs> the sheriff back. This is more detail than I would like, but it's slightly less right than than, than Tara's by a good bit. Um, plaintiff opposes defendant's motions to stay because all relevant interests weigh in opposition. Plaintiff respectfully asks the court to deny the motion, reaffirm. Right? Okay. So that's a I would call that a a much pithier, right? Um, much 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 more concise attempt to say this is what they, they're asking and this is our response to that okay so i thought that was was interesting uh and pretty good um so just as expected his class was pretty critical but it wasn't too bad for me because he didn't really go over my paper in class but i know that once i have my one-on-one -on -one with him that's where he's gonna give it to me <laughs> uh, but I really enjoy this his class though so it's not too bad it's gonna make me a better writer um, so next I'm reading for my next class I usually have a class during this time but um, it ended a day early so we didn't have to come to class on Wednesday which is awesome because it's giving me time to read for my next class which I didn't do the night before. And I actually don't mind reading for this class because it's actually my favorite class this semester. So I usually take my sweet time when I do the reading because I want to make sure I understand it. And I want to also want to make sure that I do the problems correctly. Um, so I usually don't mind taking an extra <laughs> hour or two to make sure that I fully comprehend what, what the reading is trying to teach. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and insert an audio for my first class because I think the professor did a really good job of summarizing what law school is like for the three years. So enjoy. If, if you're able to reflect back on your law school experience, in your first year, you're like frantically trying to learn the law. Right, and what feels really hard is how I remember, you know, all of the elements of, you know, what makes a uh, adverse possession, uh, and you're like trying to frantically memorize those elements and and etc. But by the time you've hit your second year, and certainly by the time you're in your last year of law school, hopefully it's become clear that knowing the law is the easy part of what we do. The hard part is how you apply the law in a sophisticated way to the facts. And that is all legal writing, you know, lit litigation writing is. So all that reading actually made me hungry. So I decided to make myself a smoothie. Um, what I actually was craving was an acai bowl but I didn't want to stop what I was doing. I had too much to do and I didn't want to leave and go get one. So I decided to just make myself a smoothie um, instead, even though what I really wanted was the good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I usually make my smoothies with just like four or five ingredients. I always put strawberry, uh, mango and bananas and um, Greek yogurt and... Um, Oatmeal, oats, I guess it's not oatmeal, just oats, quicker oats. <laughs> um, and quick tip for smoothie makers, if you have bananas um, that you don't eat, just refrigerate the whole banana and it's super easy to peel and just toss it in your smoothie. Don't waste any bananas. That's usually what I do. Um, I actually buy the bananas specifically for smoothies. I never actually eat like fresh bananas. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just making myself some, oh my gosh, my fingers were freezing. Um, but hey, that's expected when you freeze your bananas before you put them in your smoothie. Um, I made it a little too thick, so I had to keep adding some more milk to soften it up, loosen it up a little bit. Um, I wanted it to be thick because I was going to eat it out of a bowl instead of with a straw. I read somewhere that, um, if you eat your smoothies from a bowl, it I guess your brain is strict that when you're using a spoon to eat something, your brain thinks that it's m more food than it is a drink. Um, and so you, you get full faster. I don't know how true that is, but usually some days I, if I want to feel like I'm full <laughs> faster, I will make my smoothie really thick. And, um, also I wanted to add granola to it. So I pour it in a bowl and then add granola and then eat it like an acai bowl. <laughs> um, instead of using a straw, cause sometimes when I use a straw, I don't really feel like I ate. I just feel like I drink like a cup of smoothie. Um, but yeah, enough of my babbling. I'm back at my desk. Just continue reading for my next class. Um, and you know, you would think that for it being the last day of school, the last day of school period, they would go easy, easy on us. No, they don't care. These professors, they don't care. They want to get through their curriculum and this required us to do more work. So the last day of law school, I'm reading like it's, halfway through law school. Um, but again, I actually don't mind doing it for this class because I actually really enjoy the, um, the work. So now I'm just doing the problems for the next class. The courts asked, should we worry about attendance if we have not been contacted? The answer is no, right? If you haven't been contacted, uh, then I would not worry about your attendance or filling out the form. Uh, so the, out, the final, if you read them, hopefully you took time to read the instructions that I sent in the email on Monday. Um, and if you did, you would see that it's a two hour final. So it's not three hours. We're gonna start at two o'clock and it's gonna be two hours. Um, 
Is there going to be a review session? Yes. So we will have a review session May 5th, Wednesday, May 5th at 9 a.m. I'll try to put that in the email. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday, May 5th at 9 a.m. I realize some people have finals then, uh, some people are asleep then, but you can always watch the video. So that's my only uh, idea. So as predicted, I was actually called on, which I was expecting, but then I got called on again. So he called me the first time, I answered my question, and then I thought, oh, I can relax because he's moving on to other people. Um, but then he ended up calling on another person, and they weren't there. He called on the third person, and they weren't in class. So then... He calls me again, but at this point, I had shut down because I thought I was done. And I was like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> so playtime with Milo is actually my favorite part of the day. Um, I don't get to do this every day, but on the days where I have long classes, I try to carve out a little bit of time just to play with him because he's always just there watching me. And I usually feel so bad that I'm sitting in front of my computer all day. So sometimes I'll carve out just a little bit of time to spend with my baby. More than 30 days after the due date are going to bear interest. So far, so good. At a rate per annum published by the Wall Street Journal, that's pretty typical. That's very typical, in fact. On the business day before the date on which such interest begins to accrue, okay? changing with each such published rate plus two percent and on the date in question the prime rate was uh four percent so this is my contract drafting class um usually at this point in the day i am exhausted and i'm ready to be done um we're like 10 hours into the day and i'm just <sighs> so usually what i do is I'm present. I, my goal is be present, answer questions when I can, and don't fall asleep. Um, but the good thing about this class is participation is required. And so it usually makes the class go by really, really fast. And I've maybe fallen asleep like once, um, which is really hard to do when your camera has to be on the whole hour and a half. <laughs> um but yeah, this class was actually not bad. I learned a lot of co contract drafting tricks uh, that I'm hopefully I can take on when I start working. I thought the quizzes were pretty helpful. I, th I honestly thought so too. Like as annoyed as I am by having to do busy work, I do think that I've learned information yeah. by having to do the quiz. Yeah. And especially if, like for me, I don't read for this class, so when I do the quizzes, it's like me going back and looking through the the giant book for information. Same. So Same. it's like the only way I learn anything from this class because I'm not going to do the reading. So sometimes I think I kind of need to be forced to learn, because <laughs> then he kind of did force it. Yeah. So here, my classmates and I are just going over our thoughts and feelings about this class. The teacher asked us a few questions that we had to answer. So we were just discussing um, how this class was to us. And like I said, this is usually the last class of the day. So the effort <laughs> that I put in is not as much as the effort I put in my um, other classes. Um, about maybe three weeks into the class, I stopped reading because um, I realized that it wasn't necessary. <laughs> so we usually uh, go into breakout rooms and we do the problems together and other people usually shine. So I realized that, hey, why waste three hours reading for this class when, you know, somebody else will answer the questions? <laughs> I promise I'm not a slacker. I usually read for every class, but this one is just, there was no motivation. At 4 p.m., I'm not ready to read for my 6 o'clock class, 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 so I usually don't. Um, but overall, it seems like that was how my classmates felt as well. <laughs> a lot of them didn't do the reading either. The thing about this class is, I, wouldn't, I won't say it's easy, but all of our quizzes were um, open notes. 
so you could search up the answer. So everybody had, at the end of the, the semester, everyone had like 100 out of 100, except for me, because my last quiz, I messed up and I missed seven points on my second attempt. <laughs> so, but most people are have really, really good grades. So our final exam is what's going to determine who gets the A in this class and the difference between the person who gets the A and an A minus could be something as little as a point because everyone did so well, or I'm assuming everyone did so well. Um, they have to have done well. Literally, the answers were in the book. <laughs> um, so hopefully I got an A. Um, So usually after my 7.30 class, I take Milo out for his evening walk. Um, and there's a, a, a grassy area across the street from my apartment. So I take him there and he gets to let out all of his energy. And he runs in circles. He does those little zoomies um, for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it makes him happy. So usually after my 7.30 class and taking Milo out, I read for my Thursday class. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. And I'm sure you're probably wondering, hey, you said this is the last day of law school. It is. So um, Wednesday was supposed to be the last day. But my professor for my Tuesday class, he didn't get the memo. Um, <laughs> his class ended on Tuesday. But he decided we were going to have class on Thursday, even though we weren't scheduled to. Um, and no one corrected him. So we just went with the flow. And that's what I'm doing is I'm reading for that class because I know that I'm going to be called on. Um, there's only four of us in that class. So everyone gets called on every class. <laughs> so I always have to read for that class as well because um, I never know how many times. And I have to read everything like because, like I said, there's only four of us. So we usually end up reciting for multiple cases. Um, so, and that was my hardest class this semester. Actually, I didn't know anything that was going on in that class. I read for every case, yet I was somehow lost when he, um, would lecture. And when he picked on me, I always answered, but it just always seemed like it was always surface level. Like I never really understood. And, um, this class is products liability. So I never really understood like the in-depth things that he wanted us to understand you know i always knew like what the cause of action was or why the person was suing the other person but i never really could i don't know i'm just glad this class is over i'm never gonna do product liability ever 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 again thank jesus all right i think it's time to end my day i'm tired uh it is 10.41 p.m. I just finished my reading for my class tomorrow. And now I'm gonna bring the day to an end. So here is my last day of law school dance. <laughs> I was so happy that it is over. Um, and again, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. If you um, like my content, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post videos. And also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I really, really appreciate everyone that likes my videos, comments, and has subscribed. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next one.